Hey everyone, it's Matt aka Tech Ranger, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Fallout Miami expansions on the Xbox. Now we're not getting the actual Fallout Miami on Xbox, unfortunately, but these are the mods that are going to introduce us to Fallout Miami and give us a little something different. It's also a great way to see how much work has actually been done on Fallout Miami so far and what exactly they're doing and why it's going to be a big deal. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at Miami Misadventures Part 1 as well as weapon mod that is from the Fallout Miami. Miami expansion. If you like these types of videos, if you like Fallout 4, Skyrim mod videos, helpful, fun Xbox gaming videos, or you just like how I break things down here on the channel, feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. But right now, it's time to look at what's available from Fallout Miami on the Xbox. So when you load up Miami Misadventures after you install it, you're going to have a quest, Wild Goose Chase, and it's going to tell you to listen to a radio broadcast, which I'm going to play out now, and then I have a timestamp in the description if you want to skip this part to the actual quest. If you're wandering the Commonwealth and listening to this, then I've got an opportunity you won't want to miss. Ain't no drop off them. Just the chance to get your hands on some mighty fine loot. If you're willing to scuffle. Name's Fontaine, and I was on my way to set up shop in your neck of the woods and offer y'all some mighty fine goods. But some mask wearing thugs decided they wanted a full discount. Now, it's known that folks north of the Mason Dixon ain't exactly civilized, and robbing a man in broad daylight is par for the course, but beating him to an inch of his life? That is just plain ugly. Now, I don't care for my stuff back. Find us keepers in the wasteland, far as I'm concerned. But that kind of behavior should not go unpunished. And I don't want the custom equipment I was carrying in the hands of bandits, either. If you go after those kids, just be careful. They are animals. I'm fixing to come back north and set up shop later on. Can't say when, but I'll let y'all know. Till then, if you want to augment your arsenal, and teach some thugs a lesson. Listen up. They ambushed me on a road just outside Jamaica Plain. Didn't even have the common courtesy to say it was a stick-up. Ain't been too long since, so I reckon you can pick up their trail there and track them down. Give them what they deserve. Happy hunting. So this leads us to our next step, which is going to be to travel somewhere and actually find the game. And this is where I think it gets pretty interesting. So we've got to head over to Jamaica Plains. I didn't discover it on my map, so I actually fast traveled to University Point, and that's where I picked it up. So I got there, turned left, there's this big bridge, and that's actually where the camp is that we need to go to advance to the next step of this quest. And when we get there, you'll see that some things have happened. So as in the broadcast that we learned, some messed up stuff happened here. So this is where you find some Fallout Miami specific stuff, kind of like the face mask as well as a shotgun. And you can pick up that stuff. There's also a golf club, which you can swing around, which is pretty funny. Makes sense, Fallout Miami golf club. So after you mess around with those weapons, you'll see Benji laying there on the ground, and he has a note, and this is going to lead you to the next part of the quest. Uh, it's actually pretty cool reading through this note, because it gives you an idea of kind of what to expect from some of the quests that are going to be in Fallout Miami. But you read through the note, and he mentions a military checkpoint as well as a bridge, so look on your map, look at where the nearest military checkpoint is, and then that's where you're going to need to go for the next part of the quest. So I actually got here and thought that I actually needed to go through the military checkpoint and fight everyone there in order to get to the next part of this quest. You just want to make your way right over to where the pillars are to hold up the bridge because there's going to be a low elevator that takes you up. And that is going to take you to the next person that you need to take out in order to progress the quest. So another gang member, Jamila, is going to be up here waiting for you and she'll have a note that you need to pick up. Feel free to look around as well. You might find a couple cool things here along with the cat. The picture you got actually shows a chest by the red rocket that's actually near this place. So you're going to want to go over there. There's a big robot that you're going to need to destroy first, but then there is going to be someone with another mass that you need to take out. And that's where the final safe will be, where you'll get the special weapon for this quest. 
And with each person in this gang that you take out, you get a pretty cool mask as well. And I gotta say, this one is probably my favorite. I mean, you look pretty ridiculous in conversations, but it's also kind of intimidating, right? And that's the end of the quest. You open this safe, you get the SMG that is actually going to be in Fallout Miami when it does release on PC. And you get to play around with it a little bit. You get to see what these guys created for Fallout Miami, but then you also get to play with it in Fallout 4, which... Again, I think it's just really neat. Now, it is, you know, pretty high recoil weapon, but it is really cool to use. And then it comes with a little perk as well, which is nice. So you complete the quest. Some machine guns are not really for you, but you do like some uh, shotgun mods. Well, there's actually a shotgun mod from Fallout Miami as well. That's in Fallout 4, and we're going to take a look at that one next. There was one other weapon mod as well for Fallout Miami, but I thought this one was a little bit more interesting. And there's a little quest to go along with it, of course. So our much shorter quest starts at Gunner's Plaza, and you're going to want to go south to a little tower, and this is where you're going to find the starting point of this quest. There's going to be a recording to pick up here, and I'm not going to play it in the video because, uh, you know, YouTube. It was a pretty funny recording, but uh, it's going to lead you to the next part, which starts the quest for the quad barrel shotgun. So if you checked out Miami Miss Adventures already, or you have been to Jamaica Plains, it's actually just going to be northwest of Jamaica Plains. And this is where a lot of super mutants hang out, so if you haven't been to this area yet, just FYI, before you go into it, you actually don't need to go into the subway or anything like that, you just need to go around. So where you need to be is Shaw High School, and you're going to find that the sergeant is on the second floor with his posse, and um, he's not really willing to give up his shotgun. So you're going to have to fight him and take it. The conversation here is a little vulgar, so I'm not going to play it out, but uh, it was pretty funny. And uh, at the end of that, you do get the quad barrel shotgun. Pretty much like playing around with a tour gun from Borderlands. So uh, let's roll the uh, montage. Sorry about this, friend. Orders are orders. <laughs> and that was my look at two of the mods from Fallout Miami on the Xbox. We have the Miami Misadventures Part 1, and then the weapon mod as well, the quad barrel shotgun. There is a melee mod as well if you want to check that out. It's really cool stuff. And leave a rating on these mods if you guys really enjoy it. That tells the dev team over at Fallout Miami that uh, we really like their stuff, and we look forward to seeing what comes next and what trickles over to Xbox. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you guys have played with these mods or what do you think of these mods, and uh, I will see you all in the next video.